Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Let's Play with Gerald. As some of you may be able to see, today we're going to be playing The War Z, a highly controversial game that I myself personally enjoy, but some do not. Uh, so I've just spawned in on this character and we have spawned in right next to Ridgeway Airport. So I'm going to take a risk and head there, hoping no bandits catch me. Just because that would really suck. <laughs> Gotta avoid them zombies too. No, I'm not catching them either. Looks all these trees would appear I'm actually quite a distance because I can't actually see it yet. I think that might be it over there. So it's a little bit of a walk. Just bear with me here. Just bear with me here. And welcome back. We're getting quite close to the airport now. And uh, we're going to be entering in soon. So, just, let's just... So from here, we can see the... Um, I try to request that, you know, if you're watching this on a browser, capable of it. Uh, can you just put the uh, video on the highest quality on uh, full screen? That way you'll be able to see everything I'm able to see, hopefully. So if you can see, I'm looking at that, that tower there, and it's notorious for holding snipers. Not the rifles, the actual people. So I'm going to keep trying to try to keep this tree between me and it so I don't die. So I'm going to keep checking a bit. I'm actually going to head on to the tarmac in about a second here. Just so I can be... There might be one guy up there, I can't really tell. Of course, he could ask on chat, but that would probably get me killed faster. Well, I'm going to make a break for that tree over there. <laughs> I'm going to keep this tree between me and the tower. Okay. I'm run for this tree over here. I'm gonna stop running now because there might be zombies around. And I don't wanna trigger any of them. Huh. Alright. Only 15 people online, so the airport might not be populated yet. Alright, where are you? There we are. I'm gonna walk a close eye on that tower. I don't see anyone in it yet, but that doesn't mean there isn't one. People are sneaky. Oh, crap, we got a fence here. I have to get past. Uh oh. Alright, I'm going to make a dry run all the way there. Alright. I'm going to go all the way down to this break in the fence here before I run up. That could be dangerous. Oh. 
Friends sending me so quickly in the chat there. Alright. So now we're gonna be in the complete open. We only have this protection of this fence here. So let's hope it. Oh shit, that was scary. I'm just gonna duck over this helicopter and crash over here. Maybe I can find a weapon or something. Also, I can keep that building between me and the thing. It's harder to hit a moving target. And it's even harder to hit a target behind cover. Alright, I haven't seen any zombies yet. It could be just because there aren't any around, or it could be because someone just moved through here. Oh my god, that's not good. That zombie scared the shit out of me, and I don't think, I think it might be dead dead. Which, again, would not be very good for me, because that means someone is here somewhere. Zombies' bodies should be spawn after about two minutes or so. They don't really hang around, so... If that is a... There's a down guy sleeping. It's a good thing. Because if not, someone's just been here. And that'd be bad for me. I'm a new guy with no weapons, no armor, nothing. Alright, I head up to this helicopter crash over here now. Hopefully, you'll find something to give me a sign that no one has been here. But maybe a bag of chips or some regular loot. But I don't see anything promising yet. There's nothing. This is not a good sign. Someone is here now. I could yell in proximity, but I highly doubt anyone would respond to me. And if they did, they'd probably just try to lure them into a trap of their own devices. <gasps> so I'm going to continue on. Because I really have nothing to lose. I'm just going to continue to that tower there. Hopefully avoiding <gasps> these zombies here. Alright, so looks like there's a lot of zombies around this tower, so... I don't think anyone could have gotten in there quite yet. Without him taking those guys out. I do want to keep an eye out for a uh, survivor me hiding on the ground or because he just possibly saw me and assumed we were waiting for me to approach him. Alright, we're at the tower, finally. Eight minutes in, we're just at the tower. This is people on here but I don't see or hear anyone around this area so hopefully this tower will hold some loot to give me a sign that no one's been here. Yes, juice. That could be a good thing. Third person is also good for checking your corners. Oh. CO1 vaccine might be a good sign, but I doubt it. Most people leave them anyways. They're not useful yet. Not until they add the infection. Alright, we're getting close to the top now. This is about where I would die. I don't see anyone. Oh, I guess I'm just going to head right up. Nothing to lose. Oh, oh, got a helmet here. Put that on. Just for some helmet, helmet protection. Alright, and from here we get a great huh. vantage point of the rest of the airport. I don't see anyone. I'm just gonna head out here and see if we can find anything. Okay, we got a candy bar. I do not see anyone else, but I don't have a weapon yet. Gotta be very cautious. Okay, we got a can of ham here. 
So it's definitely no one's been through here. <gasps> they would have at least taken that can of ham or this helmet. So where we might we might be good here. Gotta watch these stairs to that damage glitch. Can kill you, mate. Stop every once in a while to listen. All right, I would say head over here, but I can't see any weapons. Obviously, a lot of zombies too. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Maybe a weapon this military hammer, but I doubt it. Alright, this first, first hang might be a good idea, a place to start, I don't see any zombies in there, so, it's imperative that I avoid zombies without a weapon, one of those bad boys gets close, I'm a goner, alright, she has a zombie on the other side of this, He's what past the door, so I'm not gonna take a risk on him. Yeah, now they're in the thing, damn it. Ah, right. oh, she stopped. Let's hope I get a Alright. I can't wait her out. Could be minutes before she moves. Minutes I don't have. Whoa. <laughs> shit. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, it's imperative that the panic can run. Uh oh. I guess this could be a bad thing. Let's pray his weapon in here. Nothing, we're to keep going. Damn, 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 son of a bitch. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> Alright, this is not going well. Come on, weapon. Come on, weapon. Temporary fix for right now. I'm just gonna have to plan my next couple moves here. Survivors are strike it's gonna be now, so. Shit. Let's try to at least, you know. Come on, baby. 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 Oh. It's not gonna end well. Oh, no, that's not cool. Oh, no. Ah, oh, there's almost always weapons up here. I hope we're smart enough to head right through here. Oh shit. Oh, I'm dead.
If I can get back to that house, I'm pretty sure I saw a gun. I don't say I might have lost them. Yes. We're not dead yet, people. We're not dead yet. All right. Yes, I did see a gun. Goody, 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 goody. Now we're bleeding profusely here, so I need to find something to help me through this. Just gonna change this real quick. Alright. Now we're gonna fend ourselves against some bandits and zombies. Let me grab this so I can heal up with that. Food will heal you a little bit, but not a lot. Damn. Alright. Alright, I'm making step four out here. I'm still lead bleeding, leaving a big blood trail for my attackers. Out of this airport, literally the entire thing, and I'm gonna that was very I was touch and go there for a minute. See, I'm still bleeding, and I trapped my attackers right to me. A couple bleeding guys on the ground here, you have to avoid them. I think there's a lot of bleeding guys on the ground here. It might just be a better idea to avoid them than all together. Oh, they're dead. Alright. Well, that was incredibly exhilarating. Just goes to show you how dangerous the zombies in this game can be when you have no melee weapon. And even with a melee weapon, that horde still would have been overpowering. So it's luck that I got away by ducking through that cargo container. Alright, well I'm going to leave it here and hopefully I'll get back to you in the next episode. But I may be covering another video. Another game, sorry. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Let's Play with Gerald. And I hope you'll subscribe and tune in for the next one. Have a good day.